Back once again for another unboxing and amp dyno here on Budget Gem or Budget Bust. Um, got one here that's another true budget beginner type amp. Um, this is the Power Acoustic BAMF 1.3000D. So, I'm going to clarify the picture here a little bit. So this amp here, this is um, rated at 1500 watts at 1 ohm, um, Class D monoblock. Um, Power Acoustic is one of these brands that you will find typically, again, just like Planet Audio or Boss, in a beginner's trunk. Um, if you've got a lot of experience in car audio, this is probably not the amp that you're going to be using. Um, but, I mean, the question is, can you find a good value even with a brand that doesn't have as good of a reputation as others? Um, what got me curious about the Power Acoustic is uh, Power Acoustic is owned by um, Epsilon Electronics. They also own Soundstream and Precision Power. Now, they haven't always owned those other two brands. Um, again, when, when I talked about in a different video, um, when some of the um, car companies that were kind of went under based on different economic reasons, uh, Soundstream and Precision Power were two of those. I mean, those used to be like the lines in like the 80s and 90s and uh, early 2000s. And then they just couldn't keep going. Um, so a company called Epsilon came in, they bought them, they bought Power Acoustic, they bought Precision Power, and they consolidated them. And they moved a lot of their production offshore to China. Um, now, I had seen that there has been some good lines that have come out of Soundstream and Precision Power lately. Um, the Tarantula Nano 1200.1D and the PPI Phantom 1000, solid amps. Um, and the same thing with the four channels in those, in those amp lines. They make the power, they do, they're actually even a little underrated. So, pretty nice. Um, I even had tested, and I didn't video it, kind of wish I really had the chance to. Um, I had a Soundstream Tarantula amp in here. So it was a little older, a couple years old but it was the uh, TXL 2000D. And it was a little over, a little funky on the rated, but it was got pretty damn near that 2000 watts that it was rated for. Um, and Big D just tested an arachnid sound stream that dynamically did 2500 watts, and heck, that cost 160 bucks. So, why am I saying all that? Because it got me thinking, is the same true for power acoustic? Did this one sneakily become a good value and we didn't even notice it? So I'm testing here the, the BAMF 1.3000D. As I mentioned earlier, rated at 1500 watts at one ohm. Uh, let's see, I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit for you here and clarify the picture. 700 watts by one at four ohms and 1000 watts by one at two ohm. So, let's pop her open. Let's see what comes in the box. Oh, helps if you try opening it the right way. All right, it comes with a remote base knob cable. Standard stuff here, and here is the, uh, this is very plasticky, the remote base knob. Um, looks like it might have a power light on there, so that's, better than normal. Um, you have your owner's manual, comes with a spare fuse and some screws. So, let's move this out of the way. Get all this stuff off. Now I paid $133 for this at Best Buy. Um, you might be able to find it for a little less money from like Amazon or one of these other places. Um, 
if the tests come out right. Um, so here's the amplifier here. Um, it's, you know, one thing is I picked it up. There's one thing I should show you right off the bat. So this looks like it's got a pretty beefy heat sink to it, but it's all fake. It's just all extra end cap around the side here, okay? You kind of peer in a little bit of the guts too, and it's not that not all that impressive in there. I'm not going to crack this open because again, it's got the seal on here. But all this extra like end cap does nothing for dissipating heat, and it's just a flat side around the entire amplifier. So um, other than these vents and this little bit of metal, it's all up to the top of this heat sink to dissipate that heat. Um, along this side, all your connections are along one side. Um, you have your power and ground inputs over on this side. Um, they're a little small. You can probably get four gauge in there. Um, it might be a little tight. These fuses, they're 240 amp fuses, so I can tell you right off the bat, um, I don't think this is gonna do 1500 watts. It's only got 80 amps of fusing. So, no shot. Um, every amp that I've seen that's done 1500 watts has had at least 120 amps of fusing, preferably more. Um, but this one's got very little, okay? Um, you've got your two speaker outputs. These look roughly to be about um, maybe maybe 12 gauge, I mean they're pretty small. Maybe you can fit 10 gauge in there. Um, we'll, we'll try. Um, you have your remote input, your subsonic filter adjustable from 20 to 50 hertz, your phase shift 0 or 180, your remote gain, your base EQ, which is really not an EQ, it's just your base boost. Um, that's from 0 to 18 dBs adjustable. And you do have your, remote, your uh, line inputs, your RCA ins, and you have your outputs, which also you can connect and you can link two of these amps on one subwoofer if that's what you want. Um, another thing here, um, it's kind of hard to see in this video. I might try to take a photo of it, but these um, fuses are actually misaligned in the amp. Um, and it's actually an internal way it's, it's done here. I mean, these are, I mean, they're in there solid, but just kind of real poor workmanship here off to the side. And that's pretty much it. Um, coming out of the box, it's a little disappointing. Hopefully when we strap to the dyno, it won't be a disappointment. I'm already thinking we're, we're in for one though, based on the fusing, but that's why we dyno these amps. We're gonna see how it really performs. And uh, I'll talk to you after this is done.
Acoustic BAMF 3000D, or I should say the BAMF 1.3000D. Um, yeah, so it did pretty poorly on the test bench, um, as you uh, saw there. I mean, about 600 watts at 1 ohm, um, as low as 250 watts at 4 ohm, right around. 300 roughly certified at 2 ohms, 401 um, around there dynamically at 2 ohms. Um, so nowhere near, anywhere near any of its power ratings. I mean, this is a 1500 watt RMS rated amp. It did uh, 600 watts. So almost a third of what you paid for. Um, very, very bad job, Power Acoustic um, and Epsilon Electronics, your parent company, in rating of this amplifier um, and everything about this amplifier. I mean, the build quality, as I mentioned before, is pretty cheap. Um, you got a ton of wasted space that you are pretending is heat sink and is not really. Um, it's just not a quality amp and for the price I paid $130 for this um, I mean there's there are tons of amps you can get in this price range that will do better performance um, take for instance that infinity amp that we checked out uh, a couple weeks ago the reference 551a um, that did more power at 2 ohms um, certified and this amp does at 1 ohm and dynamically I mean that thing gets up over 800 watts this one dynamically I mean you're you're in the 600s um, I mean you're not even close to that certified or uncertified at 1 ohm I mean you're in the high fours I'll look at the video and get the exact number and I think it was like 548 uncertified um, which again for this price it's not a good value at all, um, regardless. I mean, the cost per watt is high. I mean, it's up around, geez, over 20 something cents per, per watt. Um, the build quality is poor. I mean, two, two thumbs down, um, you know, and this is what you get. I mean, I see a lot of people on the forums that are you know, saying, oh, power acoustic, it's not that bad, it's pretty good, it does, it does, it does just under its ratings, it's, it's, you know, it's like, as many people, including myself, go, no, 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 um, there's plenty of others that are like, yes, 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 I mean, I don't know if they're drawn to the power acoustic naming that they have, I mean, this is, I mean, the BAMF, you know, this isn't, no children are watching, the badass motherfucker, come on. You know, the mofos for subwoofers, the gothic series, the this, the that, you know, the edge, you know, all of them just nowhere near what they're ready to do. Just <laughs> so don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. Stay away from this series of amplifiers. Stay away from I haven't seen a power acoustic yet do its ratings, um, you know, either on my channel or Big D Wiz's channel or anybody's channel. So stay away, don't buy them. Um, this one is, uh, it, it's going back. I'm not selling this thing to anybody, forget that. No, I have a conscience. So um, no redeeming quality, stay away. Until next time, let's try to find another budget gem next time and not another budget bust like this piece of crap.